Hello. So um, uh, I thought I'd record this short analogy for why uh, COVID management strategies that depend on keeping it at some kind of acceptable level don't really work. I'm going to use uh, audio feedback as an analogy. Uh, so what you have here is obviously a microphone. The signal is going through the mixer to the amplified speaker. It's getting amplified and coming out. So what happens, and you know, everybody knows this, is that if you get it too close, then it explodes. Um, and if it's further away, it doesn't, uh, it goes away. What's really hard is to keep it the, at a low level because it really wants, it really wants to go all the way or nothing. It's, it's really hard to keep it like exactly in the middle. Uh, this is also the problem with nuclear reactors, as they found out in Chernobyl. It's very hard to keep them uh, around the middle if, if you have such a system. If, if the gain is higher than one, meaning that a little bit of sound pressure here causes more than one unit. Uh, if it's one unit of sound pressure here causes more than one unit of sound pressure coming through the speaker into the microphone, like this, then it explodes. If it's not, it goes away but it's really hard to keep it right there in the middle. And you can see, you can have a situation where it would explode. You can also control the sliders. And you can have something like a mask. You can have something like a mask. I didn't touch the volumes. Okay, is this soundproof? No, it's just a children's book. But it's just enough to push the system. It's just enough to push the system below a gain of one. And by doing that, you don't have the problem and you can keep you know, the rest of the situation critical, but just by having this imperfect uh, source control, in this case we would call it, uh, well, FPLE and epidemiologists would call it that, uh, you can actually avoid the runaway uh, reaction.